Hey artists, Miss Kit Lang, and I'm back with another short video to do some fun, crazy stuff at home. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a robot head. <laughs> Got a little carried away. <laughs> well, all you need to make a robot head is some simple tools at home. Who's at the door? Did somebody say tools, Mr. TB? Oh, hi, Mr. K and Toolbox TV. Come on in. Hi, Miss Kit. Hi, Mr. K. Hi, hi TB. <coughs> Okay, so I hear you guys have been doing some amazing things here in the art room, but also in the Wonder Lab, but especially at home. But you know what? We don't want to be a cheeky chicken. <laughs> Safety first, especially when you're using any tools such as scissors, hold the blade, hold it down. And things like screwdrivers, you want to be safe as you're walking around with them. But you, did you know that even a pencil oh, yes. can be dangerous if you're not walking with it safely? So always safely hold it down and be safe around everybody there at home. That's right, Mr. K. And you don't want to be that cheeky chicken. <gasps> you want to be safe like Mr. K, TB, and Miss Kit. So let's take a closer look at how we could be safe with those tools when we make our robot head. Okay, artists, first start by getting a box. Make sure it fits over your head. I'm only using a teeny tiny box so you can see the demonstration a little more clearly. Uh, you may need a screwdriver or a sharp pencil, um, one, or the, one or the other, some safe scissors, glue, and some tin foil. Start by cutting the flaps off of your box. You can do that with the scissors. Depending on how big your box is, this will take a little bit of time depending on the size and thickness. If you don't want it to go over your head, you can keep the flaps on to make it a cube. It's up to you. Then we want to draw our eyes. Sketch them out with a pencil or a marker. And then using your pencil or the screwdriver, being safe, like Mr. K mentioned, we want to uh, poke holes where our circles are. Uh, we're not gonna use any sharp tools to cut the holes. We're gonna just use what we have. So I'm gonna show you quickly. You take your sharp pencil and you poke holes. You go a hole next door and keep poking. You can also do this with a screwdriver. That's fine too. Just see what you have and what works best. I prefer the sharp pencil. Um, I'm gonna speed things up so you guys can see how it's done and it can move a little bit faster. There, once I've poked holes all the way around, I can either use my finger to pop them out or aid me with a bit of the scissors to cut the rest out remaining piece. I can save these pieces and use them later for my robot design. Then I have my two holes. If you want, you can also make a rectangle or a shape for the mouth and do the same thing by using the pencil or the screwdriver to poke out. It is now time to cover it with tin foil. Uh, you can take a few pieces And we'll be using some glue to cover the surface and cover each side. I'm gonna speed things up because you guys will get the idea because the, each of the sides are all the same. You put the glue, you stick it down. So let's speed it up and cover the whole thing with tin foil. There. Next, I want to punch out the eyes so I can see them. So looking at the inside, I'm going to poke a little bit of hole and then carefully push through and wrap the tin foil around the edge of the holes in my box. There. Now it's up to you how you want to design your robot. As mentioned before, you can take some of these pieces and wrap them in foil and add them as buttons to your robot. You could add construction paper and do some other designs on top. 
You could take leftover foil and make antennas that could go towards the top of your robot head and glue those on or poke a hole and thread them through. So it's your turn to use those ideas, use those tools safely and your imagination to make your own amazingly awesome robot head.